Good morning, happy Sunday, I'm back. Kind of, I'm back in body. I'm half back in mind. I'm definitely not back in spirit. My spirit is sat in Turkey on a sunbed watching the sea. Oh my goodness. Um, you'll have to excuse the state of this. It's Sunday morning. I've had a manic week since I got back from my holidays and went back to work. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to bore you with the details of that, but it's been manic. I got up yesterday morning um, and taught a yoga class at a local studio for the very first time. Coach House Studios, wonderful studio, amazing yoga teacher there. Um, and obviously amazing uh, stand-in teachers when she's on holiday, thank you very much. Uh, but no, if you are in the local area, I highly recommend you go to that studio. Uh, just It's a real good studio and real good teachers there. So a little plug there for Coach House Studio. Um, so yesterday was Richie's birthday, who I'm now calling Ricardo. Uh, so <laughs> Feliz cumpleaños, Ricardo. Um, so yeah, we did. Uh, we went out for his birthday during the day. Obviously, it's not. A, it wasn't a big deal. We didn't make a big thing of it. We went to get him. Well, I went to get him his present because he didn't tell me until the Friday what he wanted for his birthday. So we had to go shopping on Saturday. Um, so we did that yesterday. We had some lunch. We came home, took the dogs out, had dinner, sat down and watched a film, and it was just absolutely lovely. Nice to chill. But today is catch up day. Catch up on so many things. The greenhouse has exploded, the garden has exploded, uh, everything has just gone mental while I've been away. So it's obviously been a little bit warmer temperatures, but uh, the weather hasn't been that good rain-wise. So it's rained a fair amount since I've been away, but because the, the temperatures have been that little bit warmer, everything's just gone mental. Uh, one of those things is the pond. So I actually just started trimming around the pond and I thought, oh no, uh, I was going to record this. <laughs> totally forgot. Anyway, uh, so I need to get the pond trimmed back. I need to see how many fish are still in there. I did put a little bit of food in this morning to see how many were in there and I can only see two. So let's hope the others are still in there somewhere. But I'll get it trimmed back first and then I'll be able to keep uh, a better eye on how many are in there. So I need to sort out the greenhouse, I need to sort the pond. There's a lot of maintenance needs doing on the flower bed because that has just gone mad. Um, what else? I need to do all my washing. I've not yet done my washing from when I came back for holidays. So I've literally got, not too bad actually. Oh God, I nearly burped there. <laughs> Don't do that when I'm recording a video. Um, it's not too bad. I've, I've got three wash loads in total. So I did one yesterday. Just popped another one in now because the weather looks relatively nice. So I will get that on the line to dry. And I'll have one more load to go in today and either that will go out on the line if the weather stays nice or I'm just checking because one of the dogs is getting a bit fruity this morning. Pip, the sex pest, is getting a little bit fruity with one of the other dogs. Uh, oh, she's not having any of that. That's good. You stand up for yourself. Also renamed Little Jewel Poco Pero little dog because she is i just keep calling her little one so from here on in i'm going to call her poco pero um anyway don't don't remember where i was at but i've got housework to do as well uh because we didn't do any yesterday housework washing greenhouse the birds need cleaning out i must clean out the uh the chickens and the ducks today so a little update on the chickens and the ducks um uh, i still have two broody chickens still sitting on two nests it's probably been long enough now. If there were any fertilized eggs in there, we would have had chicks by now. So I'm gonna have a good look today. I'm gonna to candle the eggs. If there's nothing in them, they can just go and I'll get the chickens out of the, the nest because it's not good for them just sitting there for weeks on end. Um, the day I got back from my holiday, old lady duck decided she'd had enough. And by the time I got back, she died. So Richie let her out in the morning. Um, he said she was a bit slow. It was like she didn't want to come out of the coop, but she did come out. It looks like she's made her way over to the back, got in the back and just died there. So that was really sad. So that was the first thing I saw when I came home from my holidays. I was sitting having a coffee in the kitchen and he walked up to the door and he had her body in his hand. So that was really sad. But I actually, 
I had a premonition. I'd said to my mum while we were away on holiday that I had a funny feeling that old Lady Duck wouldn't be with us. By the time I got back, I actually thought it might have happened while I was away and Richie just wouldn't tell me because he wouldn't want to spoil my holiday. But that's not what happened. It was the day I got back, but I never got to see her, so I'm a bit sad. Um, but on the duck situation, I've still got the broody duck sitting on the nest, so you never know, might have some baby ducks soon as well. So, a lot to do today. Uh, too much for me just to stand here chatting poo. Uh, so I'm gonna crack on with it now, and I will bring you with me to uh, see what I'm doing. Time to update you on Operation Gable End. Check it out, the plaster has been done. There's no more holes left. Plaster work has been done down to the top of the porch. Obviously the porch is still there, that will be getting replaced next. So the next thing we need to do is paint it. So we've got some tester pots, which I'm gonna try shortly. Um, but check out this, look at the end stones here. There. And here, oops. Look at these stones, absolutely gorgeous. So the way Rob has plastered around them is just lovely. Look. So these are staying exposed and this will be getting painted. Watch this space. This is Operation Paint Colour Test. We like this one. We don't like this one. I really like this one. Richard does not. So we're having this one, but we're not sure what's going on with these yet. And here is where things got really exciting. Ha <laughs> ha, look at my tomatoes. Look at my tomatoes. Wow. So they're all in little individual pots there. Oh, there's four in those ones actually. These ones are in individual pots and I'm gonna to have to get them all potted on relatively quickly. Um, we've got the cucumbers, we've got a few of them growing and the jalapenos and then there's the peppers. And I also have one more courgette growing back there. I'm staying in the posh for now. But the rest of those didn't seem to come to anything, unfortunately. But again, I'll leave them to it. We'll see what happens, if anything. Down here, the clematis that I saved from the hanging basket is growing nicely. The other tomato plants are... Uh, tomato. Strawberries. Um, something is eating my courgette, though. Don't know what. Uh, that's my watermelon. That's doing all right. That, I think that's a courgette. I think it is. And then the rest of my lemon balm. No, that's not lemon balm, that's mint morocco. And my uh, grape is growing nicely. That needs to go outside though. But it's still, like I say, the temperatures here at the moment aren't the best. Um, so that's staying in here until I can get it outside. But yeah, that has sprouted. As has everything else out here, have a look. I can move, there's a dog on my foot. <laughs> this is all honeysuckle, which is growing, but was along what was the fence before it collapsed. Need to get that replaced soon. Um, but yeah, everything is just growing so well. I mean, look, oh, oh my God, that was a dog right knocking me over. Look at the roses that are growing over the top of the ferret run. I mean, look how gorgeous. Look at this. So pretty. The tomato plants in the hanging basket were doing okay, but it looks like they've got tomato blight. Um, but they're still flowering, as you can see. So hopefully they'll still fruit. Um, and I will keep you updated on them. Oops. Look at this mass. I say mass and not mess because I actually really like it. Um, it creates a nice privacy barrier from here. So I can have some chairs on the patio um, and uh, I don't have to have a neighbour looking at my belly hanging out in the middle of summer if I want to sunbathe or just sit and stare at the garden. So, yeah, but that does need tidying up. However, the clematis is climbing up the drain pipe, which is what I wanted to do. Um, I actually still need to get in there. It's one of the jobs I did not get finished 
in the springtime, I wanted to do it in the springtime before everything started growing again, but I didn't get round to it. So I've got what I've got. <laughs> this. But I love it. I actually love it, as messy as it looks. I do love it. The lavender is in flower, but you can't see it because of all the, <laughs> all the honeysuckle growing over it. But I'll get that weaved back in. Uh, and then the lavender will have some space to grow. And what have we got down here? We've got the rosemary, we've got the lemon balm, two lemon balm and the chives in the middle. And this arrived while I was away. No, nope, not the dog, this pear tree that arrived while I was away. So that's just sitting there in a pot, just awaiting its destination. The strawberry plants in the hanging basket seem to be doing all right. Seem to be enjoying it there. It's a nice little spot for them. They'll get the morning sunshine and they'll get the evening sunshine, but not get the full sun um, during the day. So that should be a good spot for them. And here is something I got really, really excited about. This is the kiwi. It's a hardy kiwi. Whether it will survive the winter or not, I don't know. However, there's fruit on it already. So we've got one, two, three, four, Oh, that one didn't make it by the looks of it. Oh no, it did. Five. Five fruits. Did I miscount? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can see five. Five fruits. I'll take that. I'll take that. Once these get painted, I'll be able to grow it up the wall. Once these get painted, I'll grow it up here. Oh, kiwi fruits. Hello there. And there's my little Mr. Maggot. Mm, my gorgeous little boy. Where are you, my gorgeous little boy? Oh, are you coming to say hello? Are you coming to say hello to the dog? Oh, hello, gorgeous boy. Oh, Pippa. Pippa likes to rub herself up against against the uh, ferret hutch. Mm, my gorgeous little man. Oh, who's been trying to mate with you? Look at him, he's so cute. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You're gorgeous, aren't you? The dogs are getting excited and knocking my hand in case you're wondering what's going on with the camera. There's my gorgeous little boy. Let me rub your belly. Let me rub your belly. Oh, rub his belly. Rub his belly. He is the most beautiful ferret in the entire world. And you? Oh, look at his belly. Look at him climbing. Look at the little monkey. Let me get your belly. Let me get your belly. <laughs> <laughs> Love him so much. There we go. That's a bit better. I like to keep this bit nice and trimmed so I can see what's in the pond. But yeah, look, everything's just oh, exploded, which I love. I think it looks gorgeous. But yeah, I like to keep this bit nice and trim. Uh, and that, I keep that, keep the grass a little bit long around the pump. Poco pero, poco. See, she knows. <laughs> um, I like to keep the bit around the pump a little bit longer just to hide it, because it's not very pretty looking, is it? Um, but yeah, that's a bit better. So I will get the, there's one, oh, two fish there. Um, I will get the net in and get some of this scooped out. But yeah, it's just a lot easier to see what fish are in there. It's easier to feed them. And there's still plenty of hiding places for the fish and for any frogs or toads that have come to visit. Beautiful. I'm not entirely sure what this weather's doing. It was nice and sunny and then that came over big dark grey clouds. I thought it was going to rain. Well, actually there was a few spots of rain. I thought mm, my plans for the day may be scuppered. I've got a tiny little bit of blue sky up here, a bit of sunshine again, nicely. But over there, more dark grey clouds. Oh, this weather, do one. Give us some sunshine. It's June. It's June. Weather, are you listening? We need some nice weather and some sunshine. Thank you very much.
It's all right, madam. I'm not going to do anything. What a good girl. Good girl. See it good, mama. Well, that's a mission and a half to get mummy and the babies into the duck coop. Um, finally managed to get her in there. It probably took me over an hour. Um, I didn't want to scare them. Um, but in the end, I think two fall in there and the remaining eight I had to pick up and put it there. I was dying to just go and then put them in there, but no, no, don't want to terrify them on the first day on this earth. So they're all in there now. Um, I'll show you what I've done. It's not pretty, but hopefully it will do the trick. So here's what I've done. I've surrounded <laughs> the duck coop with this fence in. Uh, I've tripled it. The ducklets, ducklets, ducklings will still get through there. However, uh, I think it'll be awkward for them. So they probably not want to do it very often. They might get stuck, uh, but that's what I've done anyway. And then I've put a little basin of water in there so they can have a drink and have a clean. Uh, and basically, I know it's not very big, but it doesn't need to be for now until they get a little bit bigger. But yeah, I put a little step there for them so they can get up and down. Um, and that's going to be their home probably for the next couple of weeks until they're a little bit bigger anyway. Um, yeah, we've had ducklings in the past and they've gone very, very quickly. So I'm determined not to let it happen to these little bambinos. So that's a little bit of an impromptu video tonight because uh, I wasn't quite expecting that. I was actually still at work when I got a, um, when I got a video from Richie showing me that the babies were here uh, and I got really, really excited and it was lovely because it's been a really, really busy day at work so it was really nice to have something like that to cheer me up and look forward to coming home to see. So yeah, 10 happy, healthy little baby ducklings and um, let's hope that this lot will survive a lot longer than the last lot did but I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that happens. I'm also going to cover the top of that with a net so that we don't have any predation from the sky, from birds swooping down and taking them. Um, I think with them being in such a, a confined space that will stop the bigger birds from flying down and into, into the little pen. Um, I think my biggest concern is going to be the rats. We've got rats down here. I think we always will have. For as long as you've got any sort of animal on your on your property, you're going to have rats. So watch this space. I will keep you updated. But for now, I'm in love. I just had to stop and video this. This is a wildlife pond, and it just looks so pretty now that everything's grown. Look at that. beautiful golden irises in the pond. That is the pond down there by the way. You can't see it. <laughs> it's all so overgrown but this is just completely wild. This is the whole point in this area. Just completely wild. A proper wildlife area. Except right now the older ducks, well two of the older ducks and one of the young ones, um, is hiding in there from me because I think they're a little bit upset with the newcomers. So wish me luck in trying to get them out. They were so pretty though. I have waited a whole six days to show you this. <laughs> the lights are in the pond. But it's taken this long to get some decent sunshine on them. For them to actually light but i can finally now show you that the lights i put on the pond look like this 